Do you have some empty space in your garden in the middle of July, but you don't know what vegetables you can plant? You came to the right place, because in this video I'll tell you what you can plant in July so that you'll enjoy a plentiful harvest in the fall. Yes, you heard me right. If you live in zone 5, zone 6 or zone 7, the time to prepare your fall garden came. And the best way to prepare it is to plant your vegetables in July. In that way they will have plenty of time to grow, so you'll be able to enjoy the harvest before the first frost night will come. So if you watch this video until the end, you will hear what you can plant in July, what pests you need to watch out for, and for every vegetable you will learn what is the appropriate square foot gardening spacing. Because of that I'm sure you'll get some new planting ideas for this year. If you like this kind of content, please let me know by leaving a like. So without further ado, let's dig into the main content. The first vegetables I would recommend you to plant in July are both from the brassica family. So cauliflower and broccoli. 55 to 80 days from transplants is what they need to produce some beautiful flower heads. And because they are cold tolerant plants, you don't need to worry about some early low temperatures in the fall. The only thing I need to warn you about are the cabbage moths. They will lay eggs on your plants that will hatch a worm that can devour the leaves in no time. The only way you can prevent that without using any chemicals is by using some protection netting that will cover your plants. If you follow the square foot gardening spacing guidelines, you can plant your broccoli and cauliflower 4 per 9 square feet. This will give you enough space for all the leaves and the big flower heads that will pop in the fall. Second to my list are cabbages. You can plant any early cabbage that will mature faster, but I didn't choose any cabbage. This year I will try the Savoy cabbage. They grow big curly leaves that are a little bit more sweet than the regular cabbage, and they are wonderful boiled and added to some mashed potatoes. Like the broccoli and cauliflower, also the Savoy cabbage needs around 80 days to maturity from transplants. You would think that you need a lot of space for them, but what I learned from growing my cabbage is that one square foot is all they need. To protect them you will also need to be vigilant about the cabbage moth, but here also be sure to give some extra attention to the slugs in your garden. They can really damage your plants. Third on the list is one vegetable that I didn't try to grow until now. Beetroots. This is a fast growing root crop that produces delicious roots that can be cooked and eaten in salads. I like the sweet taste of it and the dark red color. Because they need only 45 to 65 days to maturity, you can plant them up to 8 weeks before the first average frost date. And another advantage here, beside the fast growing cycle, is the little space that you need for them. You can plant up to 9 plants per 1 square foot. The only pests you need to worry here, except rodents, are slugs. If you need a way to protect your garden from them, you can use a simple beer trap that you can make by following my video tutorial. One leafy green that I enjoyed last year, that I planted in late July, was endive. This is a heat tolerant leafy green, so you don't need to worry that will bolt in August. That can also grow in colder days that will come in the fall. It will develop a big leafy head that is ideal to make some salads out of it. And if you add some boiled egg to it, it's even better. For your endive, you need one square foot of space, and this will be a well spent square foot in your garden for the 80 day period that the endive needs to mature. Unfortunately, in my small garden, I don't have the space, otherwise, I would plant more green beans that will manage to produce some harvest until the frost will come in the fall. Not that much like the early green beans, but enough to enjoy it in a salad or two. You can plant them 8 per square feet. Another crop I don't have the space for it is winter squash. Because all they need is 60 to 
100 days to maturity, you could still squeeze some in your planting planning for July. I'd recommend to trellis them so that they don't take that much space. Radishes is another crop that will grow nicely if planted in July. I'd recommend to interplant them between your zucchini or squashes. They have a strong taste that we don't like that much. And that's the main reason why you'll not find any in my planting schedule. Now, if you want to learn what you can plant for your fall garden in August and want to hear some tips so you'll be better prepared for it, I'd recommend you to go and watch my video on 15 vegetables that you can plant for your fall garden. If you found value in this video, please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn more gardening tips and tricks. Happy gardening!